All right, ready or not, it's Shabbos Hagadol this week. The great Shabbos, the Shabbos preceding Pesach. What makes this Shabbos so great? If you look in the Torah, it doesn't seem to be that awesome. What happened on this day, which was the 10th day of Nisan, was that the Jews took a lamb, a sheep, and tied it to their bedpost in preparation for the sacrifice of the Karban Pesach and the sprinkling of the blood on the doorposts. So all the Jews really did that made this day great was prepare. The reality is preparation is very much a part of Jewish tradition and certainly a part of Pesach. We are told to start preparing for holidays and learn their laws 30 days before. Erev Shabbos has its own special title, the day before Shabbos, because it's a day of preparation. And for the Pesach itself, the original Pesach sacrifice, you had to prepare by making arrangements with other families to eat together. You couldn't just show up. And the same is true of Pesach today. We have to prepare. And Lord knows how much preparation goes in to the Pesach holiday. Although, truth to tell, it's really easier than ever before. I mean, I was in the supermarket. They have kosher Pesach pizza and kosher Pesach ravioli. I guess to commemorate the exodus of the Jews from Sicily. But whereas it's easier to prepare the food, cleaning the home still seems to be a problem. And some people, I have to tell you, take it to an extreme, forgetting that not only is there a commandment to clean the chametz from our homes, there's also a commandment to be happy on Pesach. And you know what? The Shulchan Aruch tells us that this is a commandment that's even obligatory for women. Oh my God, talk about equality. Women are supposed to be able to enjoy Pesach. Not the way some women are doing it these days, where cleaning becomes a conquest, and where so much kayach is put into the cleaning that comes the time for the Pesach Seder, and everybody is totally wiped out. So I have to tell you an important principle. Dust and dirt or not chametz. Only chametz is chametz. And I'm going to quote to you the words of a prominent ultra-Orthodox rabbi, Harav Chaim Pinchas Scheinberg, who says, the pressure of pre-Pesach cleaning has reached unnecessary and overwhelming levels. Every woman should be well-rested, relaxed, and alert at the Seder table. And the rabbi goes on to list some of the things women are doing that are unnecessary, such as cleaning out clothes, closets, dresses, and chests, and even basements where there is little, if any, possibility that chametz was used during the year. So, it's very important to prepare. Let's prepare the food, and yes, let's prepare the home. But let's prepare ourselves to be able to sit and enjoy the Pesach Seder. Let's start looking into the Haggadah now so when it comes the time for the Seder, we're going to be able to have a Chag Kosher V'Sameach, a Kosher Pesach, and a joyous one as well.